this video is to detail some of the steps that I took to try to diagnose the issue of this GE profile microwave. I took it out of the out of the frame. And then there's to take it out, there's a well there's a couple screws here that go into the plywood. Here, here, and in the frame itself. There's like a frame that goes over it. Anyways, there's two screws. There. There, so four screws that hold this frame in. This bezel. So this model is a... GE PEB7226 SF1SS. So the way that you can take off this cover is you'll need one of the security Torx bits. And there's a screw that looks like this. Kind of hard to focus. I have I fix it. And I think it is the TR20. That's the right column. Looks like a Torx bit, but security, so it has a hole in the center. So there's a screw here, screw here, screw on the side, and screw on this side as well. So take those out. And the whole frame, the little housing slides out, and then you just lift it up. Okay. So when I first got into it, I noticed that there was an envelope. I was like, what is this? So GE was kind enough to actually give the wiring diagram and information about some of the part, well, not the parts numbers exactly, but at least the basics of the wiring diagram. So if you just follow, hopefully GE will have provided this, but if you just follow this neutral and live coming into this line filter, and the ground. So I checked the fuse first for continuity. You just take a multimeter and check this fuse here for continuity. That looked okay to me. And then you just follow basically the circuit. Upon visual inspection, I saw that this flame sensor was, you can even see the like the red and the white, red, gray colors, so that might help you as well. But this is a thermostat, um, temperature thermostat, so the circuit will remain closed at ambient temperature, usually room temperature, and then if it it senses like a fire or something or increased temperature, then it'll break, break the circuit so that there won't be any more electricity going to the rest of the components. So um, that's one of the next things to check. And one of the more common things also to check are the the different um, switches um, and those are located well let me show you when I opened up the box so after I check the fuse you see the red wire is the it's the live wire and it goes to this thermostat sensor which was right here and then I actually snipped this off just now but it was just burnt looks like looks like this I don't know if this was like a hack job before. I know that this microwave was repaired before we bought the home. So you can see it's just completely toasted. So this is just completely toasted too, this thermostat. I bent this thing right here. So you can see it's all fried. So I think there was some sort of short, short circuit or something that is basically fried. So that's one issue that I saw. And I tested continuity between the two. And then it it's open so there's no continuity, which it should be. So I needed to replace that. And then also there's all these different little micro switches, which were in this um, housing harness thing. So you'll see other YouTube videos of how to test those, but you basically just take, there's multiple in here. This one right, 
there, one right here, one right here, and then on the flip side there's another right here. So I just did some continuity testing. Basically you just take your multimeter, hook up to each of these leads, and you can you might be able to see Okay, the NO means normally open and the NC means normally closed. So this actual this actual micro switch does not have a lead for normally closed. If it did, you would see another lead coming out. Normally open means that if this switch is not depressed, the normal state of this will be there's the switch is open. Meaning there's no electricity going from here to there or vice versa. If it was normally closed, this lead if there was, if it was there was a lead here that'd be normally closed, that means that there would be a connection. Um, and if you press the button, it would open that connection, open that switch. But normally open means that n under normal circumstances, this circuit would be closed. If you press the button, it would open. So I checked the status of this guy, and this guy is bad. So I need to replace this. And I didn't find the exact um, gear song, and then you can look at the model number on the back. I just found something similar on eBay that kind of looks similar in size. And if you just look up eBay FA63 and these specs, um, it doesn't have the exact same specs, but it's close enough for me. And if you just look up FA63, you can find a ton of these. I got like two for seven bucks shipped. And then I also got, I also looked at this thermostat. These numbers, hard to see it. KSD, BR3, 150 over zero. I don't exactly know what those mean. Maybe um, GE came up with some numbering system. But I just found one on Amazon. It's a GE genuine part. This KSD E01, 150 over zero. I don't know what the E01 is, but at least the KSD one and the 150 slash zero are the same. This is only like 17 bucks shipped. This is the package that it came in. So this, I think this is the, the model number that I use. One WB21X10148. So it's a microwave thermostat, and I'm assuming this is a part that's not exactly for this at least from my online searches, the exact part for it, but I think it should work because it's just a temperature thermostat. Under normal conditions, this is closed, and when it gets heated up as a safety precaution, then the circuit will break. So use that at your own discretion. If you blow yourself up or, or a, a fire happens, I'm not liable. <laughs> so I'm gonna replace this micro switch and replace this temperature thermostat and see if that works up. The symptoms were that um, it was kind of finicky in terms of the display and when I even plugged it in um, there was no power. There's nothing on the display. So that kind of makes sense if, if you see that the electricity coming in live it goes through the fuse and I, that showed continuity and then this was all burnt up so there's no electricity going to the control board and all the other components so if I replace that in one of these switches I forgot which one it was um, hopefully that will solve the problem I'll write in the comments if this actually solved the problem and if, hopefully this will help you guys out okay thanks bye